Okay, well, I am the Kerflummox Penguin, and this is a tutorial video on Skyblock and everything you need to know while playing it. One of the most important things in Skyblock is your cobblestone gen generator, and this chest holds everything that you need to make it. Now, in order to make the most simple cobblestone generator, first you make a 1x4 hole in your Skyblock, then dig out this one right here. Then you put your ice down in a block covering it if you're in 1.9 and you break the glass. Then put your lava down and presto, you have a cobblestone generator. Just dig out this block right here and you can mine it safely. Another really important thing is how to make charcoal. In order to make charcoal, first go on your crafting bench and make a furnace. And once you have your furnace, you put into it wood at the very top and then some more wood to cook it. And that will turn it into charcoal. Now charcoal is very important because it's used to fuel everything and to make torches and things like that. Now in 1.9 you will have a bit of a problem. Your block of water will form ice unless you protect it against it. There are several ways of preventing your source block from becoming ice. One and the most simple way is to use a torch and it has to be right next to your water source. This will keep your ice, ice from forming on your block. This will keep ice from forming on your block of water. Another way you can prevent ice from forming is to put a block above your source block. So now we can remove this torch and it will be just fine. One thing you must be cautious about is when ice has formed and there is no block underneath, it will simply destroy itself. And you're left with nothing. So when you are trying to recover your ice block, make sure that you have a block underneath it before you break it. And then you'll get your source block. Alright, so now you have your cobblestone generator and you've gotten yourself a little bit of cobble and you think you want to challenge on the sand island. Now you must be careful with the sand island because if you go straight at it and try to dig at it, it will just fall beneath you and you will lose the sand. So what you must do is you must go from underneath. Now to do that, you must build underneath your sky block safely. Now there are two different ways of doing this. One is more safe, one is less safe. The safest way is simply to have your water flow out as long as it's protected by a torch or a block, it will be completely safe to go to the bottom of your island. And if you're going to your sand island, I suggest going one, two, three, and then put one block like that. That way you have a nice and level with the sand block. Now that you've got your safety platform here, which you've built with the water, you can start building your way to the sand island. Once you have built your way to the sand island, what you want to do you want to go level with the sand island and just build a at least 3x3 three three platform going along the same dimensions as the sand. If you want to be careful, you can make it a larger platform. It all depends on what how safe you feel. But before you do anything, you need to go and hard pull her up and go and grab your cactus right away. Or else it could get destroyed when you release all the sand. This chest also contains many of the key items that you need, namely the obsidian to make your portal, a watermelon to start your watermelon farm, and your pumpkin seeds to start your pumpkin seed farm, which you don't really need, except for the challenges. Once you have done these steps, you can now harvest the sand to your heart's delight. Now that you have your obsidian blocks, you might be wondering, how do I light the portal without a flint and tinder? Now the first step is first build your... Uh, build your portal. Then what you need to do is need to place wooden blocks right here because when the fire spreads to these wooden blocks the fire occupies this spot right here and it will light the fire because that's all it needs is a fire block in this spot and the way to spread the fire is to place wooden blocks here or here just in the general vicinity of that. It's probably best to do it like this. It doesn't really matter as long as you have lava nearby. Like this will maybe like this, 
and then it will light this, or it might light this, and then spread to this, and then spread to this. As long as it end, the fire ends up catching fire right there, it will light the portal. And now it is just a game of waiting. And eventually, the flame will slowly go to the block there, causing your nether portal to light. Now this may take one time, or it may take ten times, so just keep trying until this works. That is the key, to just keep trying. In the nether, you will find several items that are key to your survival on the Skyblock Challenge. First of all, is your other ice block. This way, you can make another water source. But I suggest to you, that as soon as you get your ice block, you break it in the nether. And then, you ride it down, and build down to as far as you feel comfortable going because you will never get another opportunity to go down with water. And water is the easiest way to un build underneath your platform. Otherwise, it is very hard to build underneath the platform. So as soon as you get into the nether, I suggest you doing that. After you have built far enough down and you are comfortable removing your water block, do it and take it back. Now that you have two blocks of water, you can now create an infinite water pool. Now the way you build this, by making either a square, like this, and putting one block here, and your second block on the other corner. Now keep in mind, you will need to light this up, or at least cover it up. Or it will freeze like that. These are just a few of the basics that will help you survive on your Skyblock Challenge.